Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be installing the aux hub and the necessary wiring harnesses in my 2018 Mazda CX-5 Touring to get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay functioning. So prior to all you're about to see, I've installed the version 70 of the firmware, which is necessary in order to get everything working properly. But um, yeah, let's dive right in and start getting this thing taken apart. So the first thing we're going to do, center console. Just going to pull straight back on that. That whole thing just pops right out. Now there's three connectors in there. All three of those connectors need to be disconnected. Once those are disconnected, the whole thing pops out. To remove this, you're going to insert your pry tool against the clip in the back. Twist that and push the unit straight down with your thumb. Same thing on the other tab. And that releases that side of the clips. And then you'll just push down on these other clips. And then the whole thing slides right out. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove these two side pieces along the center console. Just pull up. Those are just held in place with clips. I'm going to use my tool on the other side to make it a little easier. That pulls right out. Next thing is going to be the commander knob, which is held in place with just clips. Lift that straight up and out. Two connectors on the bottom. Both of those need to be disconnected. Another connector right here that goes to the shifter. Disconnect that. Cup holder assembly can come out now, which basically just lifts straight out. Now the shift assembly whole thing comes off. Now this last trim piece here is held in place with clips, but also two Phillips head screws. One on the right side. Take that out. Stick that in the door for safekeeping. Left side. And then once that's, those are out, pull forward, lift up on that. There's a connector there for the 12 volt plug. Use my trim removal tool to push down on that. Now that's off. This whole thing just comes right off the side. So now we have a straight shot from the armrest along the passenger side of the tunnel. Bring us up right there for routing our wires. This does not need to be removed. This can just be pushed off to the side during the process. There's no sense in going through the hassle of taking it off. So over here, we're going to remove the lower trim piece. We're going to stick our tool over here, pull forward, just slowly start releasing the clips. Now over here, you're going to have to disconnect the connector for the push button, push button start. Take that out. So the next piece is going to be the upper trim panel, which includes everything from here, the air vents, the hazard warning light button, 
all the way here, including this silver piece of plastic. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick my tool right in there, start pulling forward, and there's a little grab spot right here that you can put your fingers into. Pull forward, just keep slowly pulling from the right-hand side. Everything should release. There you have it. Now in here, you need to disengage the hazard light button. So now we need to remove the glove compartment. But if you just squeeze the sides of the glove compartment it releases these two pieces of plastic. You need to pull this sideways to disconnect it. And then the whole thing just drops. And you can lift that whole thing right on out. Now we have access up into the dashboard. I believe the cable is going to route somewhere through here and up along this, this member right here. <laughs> To disconnect the actual display itself, screw right here, another screw right there, and then two 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, there's one. There's two. Yeah, our 10 millimeter socket. So we break those loose. There it is. That whole thing is loose now. So now the whole unit just pulls straight out. Get the chair a little closer so I can see in there. So it looks like we got a connector up here, another connector here, another connector there, another connector there, one more connector. And there we go, there's the whole unit removed. Alright everyone, back for part two here. We're going to get these cables in and get this finished up. So first things first, we're going to prepare the cables. So the end with the black and brown connectors, about six inches from the end, we're going to start wrapping that with the sponge tape that they provided. Okay, so I've wrapped the majority of the cable with the foam tape. I have four pieces of the foam tape left for securing the old cable. So the next thing we're going to do is start working on routing the cable up to the screen. So I'm going to start routing the blue and the green end, which go along here up to the center of the dash. I'm going to start routing these through here. I'm going to route them along this. Oh, there they are. Never mind, I got them. So I'm just going to pull this along. Being careful not to pinch it anywhere. In part one, I had failed to remove this panel here in the passenger footwell. This needs to be removed in order to gain access. This is held in clips by clips one, two, and three. So you can just pull on that and that whole thing releases. And then there's a tab that the back end is stuck into. 
So I'm going to try and bring the cables right along here and then right straight up through. Just keep pulling those through until we have all the slack on the back end picked up. Okay, so we got all this slack down there now. And we have this here. So we're going to wrap the old connector right here with a piece of foam tape so that it doesn't rattle around. This is the green connector. I'm just going to wrap that up with the tape. It's all wrapped up. So now I'm going to take one of the provided wire ties that it came with and we're going to tie the end of the new cable to the old cable like so hopefully it's light enough in there that you can see this I'm bending back the old wire taking the black and the brown connectors and the other connector that go to the aux hub I'm going to wire tie all those together. And I'm going to pick a, take a pair of diagonal cutters, trim off the excess there. So we got the cable routed through. What I'm going to do to get the cables up through here, I have big hands. I know I'm not going to be able to get my hands in there. So I took a piece of coat hanger. And I'm going to run this down through. There it is coming out. And now, to get the rest of the cable up, if I can just get it up through here, I got the cables coming through here now. I can pull these up through. Now the cable is coming right through here. So to get this up through, I'm going to use some electrical tape. I'm just going to attach these here. Wrap these up. I'm going to leave a buddy tag on the end here, make it easier to pull that off. And now I can pull this right through. Hopefully this should come up nice and easy. go. <clears throat> Remove the electrical tape. I'm going to start at the end, make sure I have enough slack. That seems like a good amount. Grab a wire tie. Tie that together. 
tight enough cutters to cut that. I'm going to wrap the end of this connector with a piece of foam tape to prevent it from rattling. I'm going to use another wire tie to tie that back. Then I'm going to cut. I'm going to add one more wire tie. Securing this whole thing to this piece of plastic duct. that wire tie. I'm happy with that. So all that's left now is to add a piece of foam tape securing that cable to that piece of steel. Let's tape that right there. Just like so, right there. Now we can work on securing the excess. <clears throat> so next I'm going to I'm going to wire tie this part up to that metal structure right there. Got a zip tie. It shows it going along the back side. So let me just run this along the cable. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. That wire ties in place. Cut off the excess. Now we're gonna run, well, we can pull down the rest of this. That's not really needed. Now another wire tie is going to go right along the back side there like so. So that's zip tied to the other side of that piece. So now we are going to double side tape it right to that, right there. I only have one piece of the tape left, so I'm going to cut it in half because apparently I need another piece right over there. I must have used one too many pieces when I was wrapping the entire length of the cable, but that's okay. One short piece here will be more than enough. Make sure that's tight, not a bunch of slack in it. Take that, tape it there. Press down on that real good. Make sure that's really in there. So it says to bunch up the excess and tuck it right here. So I'm going to do that. Make sure not to kink it. I'm going to actually tuck it up here. I think it'll be safer up there. And then one more piece of tape right here connecting it to this metal. Tape that right to the metal piece there. 
And with that, I think we're pretty much done with routing the cable. The next step is going to be installing the new USB hub into the trim piece here, which you're just going to stick it, push straight down. And you can get this connected. We will not be using this brown connector here. Black is going to be the centermost of the two smaller connectors. Brown is going to be the outermost. There's the brown connector. There's the black connector. There's the large connector. And there's the 12 volt. The gray green is going to be the outermost and the gray blue is going to be the innermost of the two small connectors that we just installed. So gray green, gray green is the outermost, gray blue is the innermost. We have this cable that goes up, up there believe that is the antenna cable right there. I believe that is all the connections. So, I can push that back in there, and then we're just going to push this back into place, and that's it. So, let's get this thing put back together, test it out, and make sure we did everything correctly. Here's the moment of truth. There's the notification. There we go. We successfully installed Android Auto on a 2018 Mazda CX-5. Thanks for watching.